I really want to talk about calling love into your life because what I'm realizing is that people really need um, some of the main things that people ask for um, in forums like this where we're all looking for help and healing has to do with relationships, has to do with, you know, how to call love into your life, how to maybe correct old patterns that are happening, how to um, harmonize the love in your life. And so I really want to cover that and I feel like I need two episodes. So we're going to do episode one today and I'm going to talk about clearing the air in your relationship. So today we're going to talk about clearing so you can make space for that relationship or to improve the relationship that you have and make space for a recre recreation or a restoration of the relationship that you have. And even though I'm going to primarily be focusing on um, love relationships and partnering, this actually has to do with all relationships in your all relationships in your life and it can be applied to all relationships because once you do the work that I'm going to be talking about, and I say work loosely, like this is also going to be fun and energizing and life shifting, life changing. So once we do the life changing efforting into creating spaces for healthy relationships, it will actually flood into all the relationships in your life. And that's what we really want, right? We want harmony. We want to feel good. We want people around us that feel good. So by doing the work that we're going to be talking about today, you're going to actually be creating a shift in your vibration or your spiritual aura or just who you present to the universe and those around you. And by doing that, you're going to actually be calling in a shift of people, a new energy of people that matches who you are, the new you. And if you don't remember anything else from what I teach, that is one of the main things, a main tenet for life, which I try to follow, which is, you know, like attracts life. We're, we're discovering more and more every day about how much we are energy beings.